Hello everybody, Elsa Farmer here and welcome back to the channel and to a new map tour. This is Poppy Plains. This is by AG Modding. It is a beautiful French map with big open fields. You can get big equipment here. No hedges or tight corners. Uh, this is a fictional map based in France. It is 214 megabyte to download. Uh, you have cows on your farm. We can just fly over here and see this is your starting farm. With cows you have uh, some meadows here where the cows will pop up when you buy them. You have a sleep trigger over here in the farmhouse. This comes with a little bit of a warning, <laughs> to say it at least. Uh, as you can see, the landscape pretty flat and big open fields. So, what do we start with? Well, that's... Uh... <laughs> and by the way, it doesn't say if it's uh, seasons ready or position farming ready. Uh, so that's a little bit unknown, so to speak. There are two main cell points. BGA you start with, which is pretty nice. But that also, that's the biggest <laughs> downside. But anyway, uh, it is what it is. This is the map. So what you start with? Well, <laughs> you start with all that in green. <laughs> And that's why you start with the periphery. And the periphery is all this one in blue. The green fields here are ordinary uh, crop fields, which are yours. You see that they are spread out, spread out a little bit. Uh, your farm area is here. But you can see the price for the periphery is $9.4 million dollars. So you can sell that if you want and get 9.4 million dollars. But here's the warning. If you sell the periphery, first of all, um, you will lose your sleep trigger. But secondly, also the biogas plant is part of that. So <laughs> I you can do whatever you want. Uh, I think I just want to keep it because as you see here on field 28 there is also a big grass area here uh, you know which you can extend to and the outdoor periphery here is full of forestry and also over here is a part of the periphery. There are several of these grass area that's included in the periphery, so to speak. But, you know, let me just show you. Let's take a chance and sell it here now. Bam, 9.4 million. And then you're left with this. But you can still use your cow farm, so to speak. If I... No, not there. If I jump to this one now, weirdly, I can go here I, and I can buy cows, like so. And they should, where are we? You see, they are appearing all over here and in this area. And you have two bunker silos. I really like these ones because these are the ones that if you have a tip side trailer, you can drive up to the side here. And oh, my phone is calling <laughs> work. <laughs> Give me a second. Yeah, so <laughs> what I was saying that you can, if you have a side tipper, you can drive up here. You can dump your grass in from this side. So yeah. That's that one. Uh, let's see. Starting equipment. Yeah, and you also have some really big sheds over here. 
starting equipment is not that much but I think you can get around it's actually this is all that you start with so let's jump in here slot count is 477 I'm gonna show you a short clip afterwards how it will look on farm manager but you got a decent case with 225 horsepower the new Holland TX32 trailer header and this one a little bit weird but anyway it's a cultivator that demands 300 horsepower whilst your tractor is 225 but I guess you can pull it a little bit slower you got a cedar and that's it and if I let's see if I buy back the periphery should have money for it <laughs> you see the house is coming back but the house is not a part of your own equipment but you know if you sell the periphery um, you can always place a sleep trigger or pillow sleep trigger is just down here you cannot enter the house in such a way uh, and <laughs> you don't have a silo weirdly enough so you don't have anything where you can store anything uh, vehicles is top-notch uh, yeah animal contracts are available so as you can see the fields are big in other words uh, yeah contract prices are not that bad actually forestry as I said forestry is huge <laughs> it is a little bit uh, it's not only these nice is it pine trees it's a mixture of everything but as you can see if you want to do forestry in your periphery <laughs> and also you know the map the outer edge of the map looks really natural it's not like a wall stopping up over here is the main um, no not the main cell point uh, one of the cell point is just over here uh, I think we're gonna jump in a tractor and have a look but as you can see really nice flat big open fields you have this high voltage uh, power line going through the whole map which is <laughs> not that worker friendly <laughs> but anyway and it, uh, you know you can start it as you want but you know uh, your fields is a little bit scattered around so you can sell these fields individually which is pretty neat I think you can sell all those trees and maybe buy three fields down here which are closer to your farm all up to you uh, there are no other farms on this one but there are like um, animal area up here with chickens and pigs yeah uh, let me see my notes uh, do, do, do. no silo no trains uh, cell points well there are two main cell points and it's one of those you know it's the same name it's a little bit tricky to go up and down on these I don't understand why don't you just call it Unil, Unil 1 and 2 but you know it's just a matter of tagging one of them and then you know it's the other one <laughs> so as you see we have the biogas plant which is taking all your normal stuff uh, but you also have this one this is commerce best yorks which take your wool and cotton but also your milk and uh, wool no not milk sorry eggs <laughs> there are no custom crops on this one uh, are there any mods 
Well, the only mod I could find, I didn't check all of these. I usually check cedars, planters, uh, fertilizer, cultivators, if and trailers. And on this one, I usually check harvesters, tractors, and if there are any, you know, maybe potato. Or, uh, but the only mod that I could find uh, is also a strange one. It's on the animal pens. We have this one, the in-game, a large cow pasture, which can hold 200 cows, 300,000 to buy. So, but the modder has added this one, which is a mod, but it's the exact same. Uh, and you don't have it, you don't, you don't start with it. So I'm a little bit puzzled about that one, but anyway, it is what it is. Um, since you're not starting with a silo, let's check if we can... I don't have enough money. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's sell the periphery. I'm just gonna test out if it's easy to place down things on your farm. So let's take this one, the small one. Do, do, do. You don't own... Oh no, of course, I sold the periphery. <laughs> oh man, we gotta test this afterwards. I need to cheat in some money and we need to buy back the periphery. But anyway, I'll jump in this one and we'll have a tour around the map. You know what? I'm gonna take this with me and see if we can pull the, this 300 horsepower cultivator. So what I did was uh, I sold one of my fields. Uh, so let's see. You know, there's this is not a big silo, but I cannot find anywhere to place it. But you can, of, of course, you know, place it out there with the cows. But yeah, it's not that big farm area or yard so to speak there are maybe smaller silos which you can place down maybe here no how about a hayloft not even a small hayloft <laughs> anyway so let's uh, on the way to the first cell point I'm just gonna try this one it is and I haven't seen any traffic I have traffic on um, we own the field just ahead of us now so we can try this cultivator 300 horsepower cultivator let's start from scratch so to speak uh, this is cultivated but anyway yeah there we go we can pull it There we go. So, uh, we are now here. So I'm going to go up here to one of the main cell points. Go by the other uh, uh, chicken area, animal area. We're going to go up here. And nothing to see further up there. Go to this cell point and just drive around over here to the light terry and animal dealer. So yeah, it's a beautiful map, uh, nothing wrong with the colors and details and so on. Uh, I was just a little bit <laughs> set down by the fact that the periphery thing. Uh, oh, maybe now I can show you how it will look on Farm Manager. So, here we are at Farm Manager. So, what do we start with? Well, <laughs> on Farm Manager, 
you don't start with anything no land or anything but you do have the equipment so if we go into here and into equipment you have the same starting equipment and the slot count is just the same 477 the only difference there is that you have 1.2 1 million and 50,000 uh, with that said like I probably mentioned earlier if you want to buy your farm area that's a part of the periphery which can cost you 9.4 million uh, but you know if you want to start on farm manager you can buy yourself a plot of land over here and you can build your own farm if you want uh, but again if you want to use the biogas plant it's gonna cost you a hot potato so anyway that's uh, farm manager so that's the farm manager uh, now this is one of the main cell point which is called Unia Unial Unial now we have two of these ones, as I said. Uh, so you just have to find and tag the correct one. The cell point itself is really narrow. So if I tag it, I know it's the bottom one. There we go. So there you can see the cell point is in here. And you're not going to get really wide trailers in here. But anyway, it is what it is. So from here, oh, we're gonna go up to the other animal area where we have pigs and chickens. Oh, shall we do some painting? Yeah, let's go ahead and do some painting. Maybe there are, let's see, where my field? Over here. Uh, it seems like all the normal ones flat grass a little bit oh doesn't seem to have any growing grass but anyway again it is what it is And what I also like, if you want to go really big on these, uh, there are no, what should I say, boundary between the different fields. So you can plow up uh, fields together here and get some really big fields. So, where are we? Well, we are gone up here, up to the pigs and chicken area. You also have some sheds here. This is yours, as long as you own the periphery but I did sell the periphery you know let's do it again <laughs> let's sell it bam uh, but we can still buy pigs straw for bedding goes in here you got your food tray over here the pigs on <laughs> not your land and water uh, slurry point is doo -doo. I think it was on the front side here yeah no here this is the slurry point so that's the pigs chickens are over here this is where egg boxes will pop up over here you have the animal dialogue box also here even though you don't own the land you can buy chickens put in food there and there we go you may be <laughs> you may have to <laughs> lawn it or cut the grass a little bit for them to freely run around let's oh wrong one Let 
me see. Did I? Uh, no. Uh, the name of the map, Poppy Plains. I don't know. I'm not a garden guy, but I don't know if this. I just saw some pictures on the mod hub. Are these what they call Poppy Plain? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it's an area. Maybe it's a flower. Who knows? So the next point we're coming to now is the biogas plant. We have the um, do, 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 the <laughs> shop and workshop trigger, but also the cell point for wool and eggs and cotton. And you also have a lime pointer. So here we go. Over here you have your shop and this is the workshop and the workshop trigger. Over here is the cell point for what was it called again? Biarco this one, Commerce de Bastioaks. And this will buy your cotton, eggs and wool. And also the grass products, yeah. Of course. So even though you don't have the biogas plant. You can sell silage and all those grass products, but not manure and slurry. And you know, you don't gonna get any uh, digestate. Uh, I wonder if these fertilizing bags are real or not. I haven't seen these before and they look like decorations maybe. So, and over here, that white tank there, that's the lime point. Moving over to the <laughs> very expensive biogas plant. Oh, I did forget to mention something there. Do, do, no. So here we go, this is the biogas plant and I haven't tested it, but I assume since the trigger is on the floor or on the ground, you can tip anything on the f ground instead of putting it inside. Even though this digester reminds me a whole lot of the one that we got on La Coronella. And on that one, I had to put the bales up into the <laughs> digester. And over here is the digester point. Two bunker silos. <laughs> it's gonna cost you 9.4 million. Yeah, I did forget to mention uh, also a little bit strange, but not this one, but the one that you have on your farm. Uh, there is a fuel point just here, but on your farm, you have this here, this on your farm. And to me, it looks like a fuel point, but I couldn't fill up anything of the two vehicles we had. And it's not marked on the map. Maybe it's for PC and, you know, biodiesel or DEF or something like that. I'm not sure, but anywho. So, the trip goes further. Now I think we need to go to the right. Yeah, we have nothing left up to the left there. So we're gonna go down here to the other Uniel. Or Uniel, I don't know how it's pronounced in French. Let me see. Oh, I'm trying to read my notes. Oh, this road. Yeah, it is a little bit hard edges on some points, as you can see. So 
So, same same more or less as the other cell point, the Unial. This is a little bit bigger open cell point over here. Then we're going downtown. This is the <laughs> this is the main uh, downtown centrum of <laughs> this map. There are no other more or less be all, well. There are a couple of other buildings, but there's no city centrum down here. Let's see. Oh, I haven't read what's saying on the signs there. Maybe some special things? No. France Biogas. And I have, uh, you know, drive... <coughs> no, not driven, but I did fly a little bit through the wood forestry area. Because I thought maybe there <laughs> some models they put some hidden things in the um, forestry, but not here as far as I could see. So now we're coming up to the far east of the map where we have the Latier. Light here, and as you can see, the the fields here are really big. And here's also where the map ends on the east side. So this is the Latier, which will buy your milk. And let me see, the animal dealer is also here, yeah. So the sell point for milk is just here. Uh, where did I do, do, do? Let me see here. I haven't been in this area. So this is the, ah, okay, this is the sell point. But where is the animal dealer? Let me put on old help window. Oh, d just here. Okay. So you have to go in here. Okay. Makes sense. So I assume that the map will end here. There. Oh, what's going on in here? <laughs> so I think that was the roundabout of the map, so to speak. Uh, the remaining is forestry. But as I said, well, now I've sold it. And yeah, I can buy it back, but yeah, the periphery uh, biogas plant and uh, your farm area is part of the same. And also actually these areas where you have the high voltage big masts, which cross over all the map. Let me just check my notes here. Du, du, du. I think that was it. Uh, yeah. So that's all for this new mod map tour on Poppy Plains by AG Modding. Thank you for watching and <laughs> hope you like what you see. It is a pretty standard uh, map with standard crops, no, no 
tricky mods or anything like that. It's only the uh, <laughs> periphery thing that may need an update. Other than that, it's a beautiful map. So, again, thank you for watching and bye-bye.